Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file and they want to know how to uh, get rid of some jagged edges. And just looking at it from a distance, it didn't look too bad. Then if you start looking, it's, it's not terrible, but it is quite large and all these are going to show up because this is like four inches. So immediately I'm going to change my nudge factor to five. And from the one I'm doing it for, if you'll make your duplicate distance zero, zero, uh, life will be a lot easier. Uh, because when you duplicate this, it's just on top of each other, and then you move it down, and then you move it right back. So we're going to repair this one. It's really easy. I'm going to left-click, right-click, and red. It doesn't really matter. But we're going to look at the notes, and look at this. It has 7,000 or 1,786 notes. I'm going to select them all, so you're going to go from a hollow node to a solid node. Then I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to type in a magical 20. It's just something I came up with years ago from watching other people's videos. And now if we look at it, we're down to 132 notes. There's still some work that could be done. If you have X7 or above, you could use the smoothing tool and it'll get rid of some of these notes. And for somebody uh, new to doing this, this might be the easiest way. Uh, I actually, on something like this, I would actually take this sh the shape tool and I'm going to delete these two nodes. Now that didn't change it at all. You know, I'm going to go right here and look at these nodes and I'm going to select, I can't really select that top one. I'm going to select the other one and delete it. I'm going to try selecting these two. It changed it a little bit, but it, once we change this and instead of using the smoothing tool, you could still create your handles and move your handles to make this maybe look more, and I'm gonna right click and turn this into a cusp, and then that way only the top will move. You know, just kind of play around with it. And if you don't like that, you can always back up. Let's delete that node and see what happened. So that didn't work, but we can do this. And this really might be sufficient if you look, you know, where it's really close together. Like there's a lot of nodes right there. That might not even, well, that would maybe show up. So let's just start deleting nodes. And that's a lot better. You could actually maybe bring that out a little bit. Uh, we could delete that node and see what happens. See, it doesn't really change anything. We're going to, because we made a duplicate, we're going to uh, basically look at them side by side here in just a second. I've actually messed that up a little bit. Um, so really the smoothing tool is probably your best option. You could always delete two nodes or a node between two nodes, like here's a node and there's a node, we're just gonna delete that one. You're not gonna get any change. Longer nodes, you might get a little bit of change. Delete, delete. We changed a little bit, but it kind of changed back. You know, there's double nodes right here on the K, which really isn't gonna matter, but delete it. And if you want that back, just take your handle, your node handle and take it away. You're gonna get a lot smoother. Now, after we've deleted all these, a lot of these nodes. Now, I mean, look, it's just, that one's probably gonna change a little bit, but you could take your handle, it's way down off the page, and just bring it up a little bit. Now let's look at that on the shape to, well, I would, I don't like the way that E is, but you can manipulate, you know, nodes around, and uh, we are actually gonna compare these two, let's delete that node and see what happens. I like it. Then you could always bring it down a little bit. Pretty good. Now, this one's in red. We're going to make this one in black. And because we've nudged, we can nudge it right back. And then you can kind of see, did you change it too much? Not really. I mean, this is probably the biggest part. But look at, you know, you could actually fix that if it had to be. You know, you could bring that down there. And then all you have to do is just nudge that one out of the way and turn it black. And don't forget to take away your outline. Much cleaner. Let's look at them in comparison. You know, if you look, look at the top of the, the E versus my E. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Anyway, I hope that helped him, them a little bit. Thank you for watching.